Northrop Grumman's 42.5 meter tall Antares rocket thrusts off the pad several seconds after engine ignition to begin the task of sending the Cygnus cargo spacecraft to the International Space Station. Its two first stage RD-181 engines burn rocket-grade kerosene and liquid oxygen to produce some 3,840 kilonewtons at liftoff for a planned 3.5 minute burn. After about 80 to 90 seconds, the vehicle reaches maximum aerodynamic pressure. This is where the pressures exerted on the rocket by the atmosphere are at their greatest. At about three and a half minutes into the flight, the first stage finishes consuming its fuel before the engines cut off. Moments later, the stage separates and falls away. Several seconds after that, the payload fairing separates, followed closely by the interstage. The Castor 30 XL solid rocket booster second stage then ignites to begin thrusting toward orbit. This motor produces about 474 kilonewtons of thrust and burns for just over two and a half minutes. Upon burnout of the second stage and orbital insertion, the motor begins to orient itself for spacecraft separation. The Cygnus spacecraft is released some 9 minutes after liftoff. About 90 minutes later, its two Ultraflex solar arrays will deploy as it begins its multi-day journey to the International Space Station. Thanks for watching. If you'd like me to do more of these launch profiles, let me know in the comments below. While you're at it, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Orbital Velocity also has a monthly newsletter that covers ongoing International Space Station activities and the progress of NASA's Artemis Moon program. For each issue, you can expect information about the ISS, Artemis, and how the space station is preparing astronauts for the first human lunar flights in the 21st century. Click the link in the description to sign up.